Nene versus Kenya. Girl, who is the bully? Honestly, both of them. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bee neck on. So what's going on, y'all? We just got through watching Real Housewives of Atlanta. I said I was gonna do a video to explain that what I think about Kenya versus Nene and Nene versus Kenya. Girl, it's just a lot of drama. So, I ain't gonna lie, y'all know I'm not the biggest fan of Kenya, but you know I'm not the biggest fan of Nene either. Honestly, both of them have me blocked on Twitter, so I really don't really care. Uh, but, just seeing, it seems like a lot of people have chosen a side with this whole situation. We just got through seeing the episode of Nene getting Kenya together, call it what you want, but Nene was on Kenya's ass, and Kenya tried to play the victim, and oh my gosh, like sis, I just couldn't watch Kenya talk about, oh, this is what you're doing? You're gonna call me a B? Like she just didn't call uh, Tanya, see you next Tuesday, like uh, two, three episodes ago. Like girl, you just called that woman over some mess, and even when they asked you what was the issue for you to come at Tanya, you said, oh, it's between uh, us. And then come to find out, it was alleged the wig situation, and you used that same, you know, tactic, you used that same energy when you was messing with Cynthia and her boss, I mean, her wine cellar. Nene, Kenya, they're both, they're both the same. You know, they're not, like, they're honestly the both the same. Now, I will say any, like, if I say anything about Kenya, I will say that even when she does get called out on mass, Kenya is more likely to apologize and own it for that moment. But the behavior sometimes does not change. Now, with Nene, because some folks say, wait, I'm so bitch, you watch because Nene did apologize. As I will say again, that Nene only apologizes if she is going to get an apology in return. She does not apologize first a lot. It does not happen probably every once in a while she'll do it. But girl, she said that one was built like a buffalo. She was giving birth to a buffalo. That was a lot. Then she called Portia fat and tubby. She did a lot of stuff. And she was just, she was being very, like, very, very shady. And even in that, Nene felt like, you know, what's the name? Portia had did some wrong too. Like, you know, but Portia, I'm just glad that she took ownership of it. When you apologize for what you did, you are speaking for what you did. You're not going to talk about the cause and effect because, girl, the apology doesn't mean anything. This is not an apology, it's a conversation then. And we can talk about cause and effect. But when you apologize, you just say, you know what, even if you don't accept it, I'm giving it because I recognize the wrong that I did and whatever happened. It does not matter if it was that person's fault because if you still think that it's that person's fault that caused you, then you don't need to apologize. You don't need to say something. I, you don't need to say anything because if I did something and I know that it was in response of somebody doing something to me, then there's no apology to be made. I don't, I, like, girl, we both wrong. So there ain't gonna be no apology. Uh, but I don't think in this case, I don't feel like that Nene is owning up to what she did to make Portia feel some type of way. And I told you all several times that Nene does kind of you know, you weaponized the big sister thing. She did it with Cynthia. She did it with what's her name? Like she, sister, sister. Like she yearns for being this Yoda or something of a housewife. Like I started this from the ground up. Girl, let me drag your ass real quick, Nene. Sis, let me tell you something. If your ass get on YouTube Live one more time, one more time and it take you 10, 12 minutes to talk to the camera and get the camera together and do all this and you instead of shouting out somebody's YouTube channel who ain't doing anything, Miss, Miss Brown can't do nothing for you and your brand. Nene, there is no way in the hell you got a million or something followers, a million or something, like all this access, all these people following you and paying attention. You on a whole show getting paid money to be on the show and you can't get in contact with YouTube. Where is your team, man, sis? Where is your team? That's not making no sense to me. That ain't anger. I like sis, it's just, it's not making no sense. You need to, like, girl, you need to send me an email and I can get you in touch with somebody because I am concerned why you type, why I'm typing your name in on YouTube and it's not showing up. It's just videos. And honestly, you should have did what Candy did and you should have, had, like, Candy has Candy online. 
Candy knows her name is really big. So if she type, you type it on, on, on YouTube, it's like all her music videos that she's been in and other stuff is gonna show up. So Candy Online is actually very, very smart. But Nene Leaks, I don't know what it is. Like, girl, you need to, we need to talk to some folks. And I'm telling you, some local blogger in Atlanta that ain't been able to do anything else ain't gonna help you. Especially when they are known to be transphobic. Like, absolutely not. I don't even know why you still talking to sis. I don't even see how you talking about some, that you love the gays and your gay folks gonna teach you how to read. And then you around here talking to a whole transphobe. I, get, I don't get it. I don't. But you like to use certain folks, so I guess that's what the T is. But um, yeah, girl, you need to you need to clean up because that didn't make no sense with the live video you did. Um, but I did agree with Nene Dragon Candy a little bit and saying that Candy does all of these things and then Candy, you know, when she sees some folks make, I was a little bit turned off by Candy being pressed that Portia uh, um, and Nene made up. Like it does not matter what somebody said, they made up, they made up. Just leave it alone. Like why are you so pressed about it? Like girl, what are you doing? So it just seems like Candy has a motive. To protecting Kenya. Like Kenya got a whole bunch of pawns in front of her, girl. It is what it is. But Nene, get on you a little bit more. You talking about something that you want uh Phaedra to come back. You were just saying Kim Zosia come back, all these folks. You want some people to film. Was you just on the phone with what's that girl name? Um Wendy Williams talking about some oh girl, um, I don't think I'm gonna come back. I believe that you told Wendy that you didn't wasn't thinking about coming back. I believe you said that. I really do feel like you said that. But you talking about some you carrying a show. Sis, no ma'am. If there's anybody that's carrying this current season of, of Real Housewives of Atlanta, it is Kenya and Portia. They are carrying this show, this this season. They are carrying, period. I, you, say what you want. Like I, I love Portia. Don't really care for Kenya that much because I don't like some of the antics and stuff, but Kenya has been carrying the show. And that's just what it is. Now, you bumping heads with Kenya, um, you know, carries a little bit. Like, you getting her together and talking about them peanuts and stuff. Girl, I'm, I'm here for it. I love the mess. Now, you keep talking about some what you're going to do at the reunion. I'm going to tell you something, sis. And this is my advice to you. Uh, don't get in there and get them. We want season one, season two, Nene Leaks. We don't, like somebody said, what your friend said, we don't want white woman Nene Leaks. We want them dirty, gutter reads, like you was giving her your cat dry. Love the carriage. I don't care what y'all say. I love how black women read. It be fun as hell. I love this southern, like your cat dry. I love it. I thought it was funny. It's here. Your man left it. I love those type of reads. Come on, keep on giving it to me because it ain't no more reads like, girl, we'll be all right. Uh, and then Kenya was, oh my God, did you say that? Why would you do that? Like, Kenya, like, you just wasn't out here cutting up with Tanya like last month. Girl, you don't go sit down. You wasn't caring about um, Marlo's business when you was in there talking about some Kenya Mar more haircut. Like, it's just, tone it down, girl, tone it down. But, um, Nene, sis, I just want better for you. I think you have a cute brand. I think you can do a lot. Honestly, it doesn't make any sense. You are... Nene, I just, I want to talk to you. Like, you need to be capitalizing off the stuff. There's gifts, like, you are known for funny videos. You know for a whole bunch of stuff. Like, you know for all this stuff. Like, you are the most searched gift on, like, what's the, like, girl, come on. You in the African American Museum in D.C. Like, you are Nene Least. People know you, and you are not capitalizing on, you don't even know how to work your camera. You like somebody auntie logging on LL for the first time. Like, girl, we gotta get it together. This ain't it. Nene, you supposed to have an empire online at this point, and whoever your team is ain't doing nothing for you. I'm telling you, girl, talk to me for 30 minutes. I'll be able to help and get your stuff together. I promise you that. And don't nobody need to know. I'll still be on here dragging you regardless, because that's just how I am. I ain't one of them other kiss ass bloggers and folks. I don't need none of y'all asses to make it, but I don't mind helping y'all get to the next level. Because I see potential, I see what you're doing, but it's just like, girl, it's just not it. You shouldn't have been on no 12 minutes on no live stream. And the worst thing that Candy did on any of her YouTube videos is this last one she had on that tattered wig. Candy, don't you ever, ever in your life put that wig on? That was your Make America Great Again wig, girl, because you came out and was ready to fuck the economy up with that wig, girl. It was very much. Girl, she like she threw that in the washing machine, put it on extra spin cycle, and threw it in the dryer real quick and threw it on. Candy, please don't ever wear that wig again because you was right here looking like cousin it. And I was about to put you in the garbage disposal. But we love your review on whatever you did. Kenya, I'm going to get to you. I just think Kenya is full of it. I love you, but I just think you're really, really full of it. Um, I think that you pick and choose when you want to be Kenya Moore and when you want to be Ken. And, or you, when you want to be Kenya Daily. Kenya Moore Daily. Like, sis, 
it, it's not very consistent. I think that, that Nene was trying to get cool with you. She was trying to make some stuff and stuff, but you just kept throwing shots. You kept ignoring her. You kept, and you just kept poking at the bear, like, even though you wasn't saying anything, but Kenya, you know what you do. You're very passive aggressive. You'll do a little bit and be like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. And I really don't like nobody like that. I can't stand it, baby. You're going to talk about me at me. Period, Pooh. If you're going to talk about me at me, sis, I don't like all that other stuff. Like, come on, give me that smoke. I want that smoke. But Kenya very much does that. She, she, she knew what she was doing when she was idolizing everybody and saying, thank you for this, thank you for this, thank you for this and ignoring Nene, you knew what you were doing. Like, come on, like, sis, come on, oh my gosh, bipolar. Like, you know what you're doing. You have been very ugly to some folks before, Kenya. Like, girl, like, let's not do too much. Even to the point that Portia had had to tug on your wig a couple times and say, hey, that wasn't right with how you did Tanya. Like, I think Portia is the only one that really truly have a, has a spine when it comes to being um, like, girl, this was not cool. Like, I feel like Portia, like, Portia started off the very much weak person in the beginning when she first came out. I don't think it was necessarily her being weak. I think she just didn't know any about it. I think she just didn't. She came in. She didn't know what it was, but Portia has, like, blossomed into this butterfly edge. Like, she don't mind letting the girl know where they are at. And I think even with her and Nene being cool, she'll still, still tell Nene like that was wrong. And she'll still t tell Kenya when she was wrong. Kenya, you have been wrong just as much as as, as um, Nene has. Now, I will say that I think that Nene is pressed that um, whatever you have done, um, you know, with your relationship with, um, with Cynthia, Nene has not been able to do. Like, she had that. Like, she had that relationship with she, I mean, Nene, you was throwing shots at her. You was like even saying that Cynthia should go because she she she's not really bringing nothing to the show. Like you was messing with her bag. You was messing with her bag. So while you out here talking about the wine cellar comment by Kenya, you need to be on the fact that you was out here like advocating for her not to be returning on the show. Even you know, I don't think you have that much producing power over at Bravo for the but the very much you started that conversation. At the very least, you started that conversation and made people think like, hmm, does Cynthia need to be on here? Does she need to be on here next season? So you were a part of that. So you can't be out here calling Kenya out for how she does Cynthia. And you do the same thing and have done the same thing. It's probably a bit like Cynthia just like, you know, I don't want to be a part of this no more. I'm good. And maybe she'll get to that with Cynthia. But girl, if anything, maybe this is a testament that you are seeing what you took Cynthia through through your own eyes. You took Cynthia through some of the same stuff. So maybe you can see how it is and like, damn, how many times she gonna shave her, do her like that, and she keep accepting her. Maybe that's your karma. Wake up, bitch. Uh, but anything um, else. I will be talking about, I actually love these last couple of episodes of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Let me know what y'all thought about this video and what I talked about. Let me know if y'all want some other stuff similar to this, like my after comments on the episode after my review. <laughs> Let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you later on tonight. Bye.